alleged Fort Hood shooter and two 9-11 hijackers. Joining us now from Fort Hood, senior correspondent Rick Leventhal. And Rick, so tell us about this link. A lot of people are waking up to this report and they're saying, what? Yeah, Gretchen, uh, apparently Major Nidal Malik Hassan attended a mosque in Falls Church, Virginia back in 2001. In fact, his mother's funeral was held at that mosque in May of 2001. The very same mosque that two of the 9-11 hijackers also attended. Uh, that mosque's imam, uh, Anwar al-Awlaki, was known to preach very radical Islamist ideas and ideals and actually left the church for Yemen, that mosque for Yemen in 2002. Since then, he has been known to post uh, some, some radical um, teachings of an al-Qaeda leader. And there is some question this morning whether or not uh, Malik Hassan was logging on, reading these these postings, and whether that had any influence on him. Uh, initially, the investigators have said that they do not believe that Hassan was influenced by anyone else or pushed by anyone else, that he did, in fact, act alone when he opened fire on this base last Thursday, killing 13 and wounding 38 others. But now they are said to be examining some several email accounts that he had to see whether or not, uh, in fact, he was logging on to some of these radical websites and was, in fact, possibly influenced by them. We're also hearing, Gretchen, from others who worked with Hassan at Walter Reed uh, Army Medical Hospital in the Washington area. Uh, they say that he uh, had plenty of warning signs, that they were concerned about him because of the, some of the things that he was saying, for, for example, that he was a Muslim first and American second, uh, that he had extremist interpretations of the Quran, uh, and, uh, and one of them says that he did file a complaint because he had fear uh, that this man uh, was perhaps not fit to be in the army, but apparently there was some concern about appearing to be anti-Muslim, and that may be why some of those concerns weren't aired or paid more close attention to. Gretchen. Rick, are all the wounded out of the hospital yet? We know that we know that he is uh, breathing on his own now, but uh, meaning the shooter. Right. What about the others? Uh, uh, Hassan is on in intensive care off a ventilator, may be able to speak. That's not clear whether he's speaking to investigators. Uh, we know that uh, at last count there were 16 still hospitalized, including Sergeant Kim Munley, one of the two hero cops who faced off uh, with the shooter and brought him down. And by the way, Brian, I just interviewed a man who witnessed the entire shooting, mm -hmm. and I'm going to have his story coming up at 9 o'clock. All right, we will look forward to that. Rick Leventhal, thanks very much for your live report out of Fort Hood. And coming up a little later this hour, we talked to a colonel who was stationed at Fort Hood for two years and says the shooting.